<laughs> I'm gonna use these drawer slides. They're actually really nice. There's absolutely no wow wall on these. I'm pretty impressed. Now there's three rails in here. This little guy inside, that one is unstable. So I don't want to use that. I'm just gonna use the the outer one and the second one in. Pretty decent quality steel. They're dead straight too. The tubes that I just cut, I'm going to install onto here. I'm just going to dremel out these little tabs. Okay, so now I'm just gonna attach this and I'm gonna use uh, self-tapping screws and go through the other side. I'm using self-tapping screws, but I did want to uh, pre do some pilot holes here just to make sure that we're centered. That's the idea that gave it a lot of strength to check it out. Works good. Gotta feed my little buddy here. His name is Shop Cat. Cut some pieces of flat bar and these will just be welded right here and back here as well. pretty well. Don't have enough clearance here to use the self-tapping screws so what I'm gonna do instead is just weld it and then grind it down. Now I just have to come back with the Dremel and uh, flatten these out so that I can roll this back Okay, now I'm gonna scoot it back and I'm gonna do the same on this side here and I already drilled some holes. So now that I have this set here, um, I need to start installing the lead screw. And in this case, for the Z-axis, I don't have three Acme rods, so I'm going to use this 516 that I got at Home Depot so that the machine knows how much it travels. Uh, I'll be able to adjust that in the software. Okay guys, so I got this piece of uh, eighth inch steel and this happens to be quarter inch. So I'm going to stack two of them together and my bearing falls in there really nice, nice and snug. To keep it from falling out I'm gonna do this sort of deal where this hole is a bit smaller so that it keeps the bearing in place. I'm gonna take these two plates and uh, weld them together and with the bearing in place so they don't move on me. See, now they look a little classier.
All right, so now I'm just going to attach this. It will act as a stopper for the, the bearing here. And then I'll uh, trim it off. Okay, cool. So that works well. The bearing is in there. And I'm going to put another one on the other side. These will be mounted to my y-axis, just like that. Make sure we're in the center-ish. Threaded rod will go like that. And then my motor will be up here somewhere. And this will, this will go attached to the z-axis, somehow. Got the lead screw in and it spins freely. I'm not sure what to call this. I guess this is my lead nut, but what I'm thinking is I'm going to take this piece of uh, steel and weld it weld it to the side here and obviously to the nut. Guys, my Z-axis is finally done. Well, I still have to mount the mortar, but the whole lead screw mechanism is there. Check it out. Not bad, huh?